Today we will be doing some experiments which are really fun and easy to do around the kitchen with some household chemicals. The first experiment we will be doing is how to make a rubber egg. For this you need some vinegar and obviously you need an egg. First fill a cup with some vinegar and take your egg and place your egg inside the vinegar. After a few seconds in the vinegar, the egg will produce bubbles coming off of its shell. These bubbles are bubbles of carbon dioxide formed from the calcium carbonate in the shell reacting with the vinegar. We're not actually making the egg rubber, but we're dissolving the calcium carbonate shell of the egg to be left with the inner contents in the membrane. After about two days and the bubbling has stopped, take it out and it will be ready. After you've left the egg in the vinegar for about two days and you take it out, wash off the shell that remains and you will get this membrane with the contents of the egg inside. It's very bouncy, but don't drop it from too high or it might break. It looks yellow because of the yolk inside and it is somewhat transparent. Experiment 2. Vinegar Volcano. For this experiment, obviously you'll need vinegar and you'll need some baking soda too. First, put some vinegar in a cup. Now measure out some baking soda and pour it in. Immediately foaming will start to happen. These bubbles are also carbon dioxide like in the egg experiment. Pretty interesting, huh? Vinegar Volcano Try 2. This time I'm using less vinegar. There's not as much of foaming over the top, but there's still a lot of bubbles of carbon dioxide. Basically what's happening is that the baking soda and the vinegar react to make carbon dioxide. Baking soda is sodium hydrogen carbonate or sodium bicarbonate, and vinegar is acetic acid. When they react together, they form carbon dioxide and sodium acetate in a solution. Experiment 3. Atmospheric Pressure For this experiment, you'll need the aluminum, I'd say, pie pan, some water, a candle, a lighter, and a cup. Basically, what we're doing is that we're lighting the candle and putting the cup over it, and the candle uses up the oxygen, the flame uses the oxygen from the air, which is 21% of the air, so the atmospheric pressure inside is 21% less than outside, and the outside pressure pushes the water inside the cup. Pretty cool, huh? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment.